right, well, congratulations, and thank, thank you, you very much. How does it feel to be a comp Laudian? Amazing. Uh, I never thought this would happen. I have never expected anything like this, and I'm very honored to be a winner, but I'm very honored that I was even considered. But most of all, it's an honor to be out there working on behalf of the injured worker. That's a privilege. What motivates you to do what you do? Well, I became an injured worker as an assistant hospital administrator. I never thought that would happen, huh. but uh, that was the beginning of my saga into hell and the experience of being an injured worker. But I didn't like the way the game was played. Yeah. And so I decided I was going to master the workers' comp system and learn the law, learn the rules, and turn them against the workers' comp commission so that we could work on behalf of the injured worker. And, and we are really the only um, advocacy organization that is chartered by the, five, the um, IRS okay. as a 501c3 educational organization on workers' compensation. Perfect. So you were speaking to me a little bit about the motivation mm -hmm. and a little bit of your story. Um, so let's pick up there. What well, motivates you? And, uh, the thing that motivates story? me is long before I knew anything about workers' comp, mm. My oldest daughter, she was 21 years old, she was an injured worker. She sustained a severe head injury. Um, it turned out to be a brain injury and her claim was denied. And she experienced tremendous pain, severe depression. Um, brand new bride, her husband walked out and left her six months into the marriage. And, but she was so depressed and in so much pain that she couldn't deal with it. So she picked up a 357 Magnum and shot herself. And that's my passion because I don't want there to ever be another Kathy. There's no, new, no reason for that to happen for an injured worker. So that's my passion, why I do what I do, because I don't want any injured worker or any family to experience that kind of devastation again. And if I can do something along the way to help the, empower the injured worker to be in control of their case. So what we do at the Center for Injured Workers, my husband and I started it, um, because, I, as I say, I was an injured worker, and I didn't like the way the game was played. Yeah. So I decided I'm going to learn the law, learn the rules, and because the Workers' Comp Commission actually itself abuses the injured worker in so many ways, and I told the commissioners, I said, I'm going to learn this system, and then I'm going to use it against you, yeah. and I'm going to empower injured workers to be in control of their own case. And that's what we do. Well, is there anyone you'd like to give a shout-out to? Yes, most especially my husband. My husband, John, who is the board president, is a former risk manager, has been for many years. I could not do the work that I do without the, the genius of my husband and his support and to our board of directors as well. But most of all, the kudos go to my husband. Well, perfect. Well, congratulations once again. Thank you Thank so much. You. Thank Absolutely. you so much for the honor and the privilege.